Now, if I'm going to the data field as, a, as an admin, you can have for each catalog, you can have different fields, different uh, uh, schemas, if you want. And as I told you, you can have different type of metadata, text area, uh, text box, check box, uh, it can be a radio button, it can be a pop-up menu, and so on. Below, you will have also uh, a, a filter of embedded metadata, so you can certainly automatically import EXIF, IPTC, and XMP metadata. So why XMP is relevant is, let's say you're working with Adobe Pro Creative Suite, you will be able to grab all the Dublin Core met metadata by simply getting the XMP metadata. So this means when you play a video, so for example, I'm playing this video of a blizzard, and I have, as you can see, descriptions right here on the right side, which will be the customized data fields that have been created within Axel by the administrator. And you can create as many as you want, and you can have different types, as I will show you right now. I can edit the metadata on this file. And let me uh, call this project uh, Spring Never Arrive. And description blizzard, keyword snow pine tree. And I will say, as you can see, I have a checkbox. And I will hit save. All this information will now be shown right here on the right side. As you can see, I have my checkbox. I have different information that I wanted to have. Uh, now, if you're, if you're dropping 2,000 files and you have to do it on the 2,000 files individually, that will not be good either. What you can do is, like you, for example, you can see that here I have always the same file. So I have different assets that are representing the same scene. And I'm going to select all of them. And it, I can add any of them. In reality, they don't have to match. It can be any asset. So you choose the asset that you want to. For example, I take this one, there is also water. And I can edit the metadata on this group of files. You know, uh, waves of water, for example, keyword, uh, water, beach, and so on. And I can, of course, check or leave it unchecked. And I hit save. And so now, this information will be saved. I just click on this one. I have water, wave of water, and so on. And I go back. And so if I unselect, now I have all of them. And if I unselect them, and I choose this one, and I look at it. So I still have the information, but I am the producer, and I decide to approve it. I can check it. And this one has been uh, created by the admin.